Hi, welcome to this video where I thought I'd take the opportunity to break down three over four polyrhythm and, and demonstrate some of the possibilities that it allows on the kit once you're familiar with it. And so I thought we'd kick off just by establishing how we reach the sound of the three over four polyrhythm. So with a bit of maths, three and four, their lowest common denominator is 12. And if we want to fit 12 notes in the space of our four beats, because it's three over the four, we'd play three notes per beat. So you could think of that as a bar of four, four with eighth note triplets. And then if we accent every four notes in that, those three accents that you would get would be the three and the four pulse would be the four, the three over the four. So a very simple way of establishing that would be to play single stroke eighth note triplets. I'll step the quarter note over here. And now if every four notes, I'm gonna hit that, that, and that, that will give you the one, two, and the three over the four. And let's just contextualize that. We'll play a bar of shuffle and then a bar of that as a fill. So there we're allowing the framework, if you like, of the single stroke eighth note triplets to give us those notes. But I think it's really important if you're able to play those three notes against the quarter note with no other notes in between. In other words, just the three over the four. So I'll start that again. This time I remove the single stroke so we're just left with those three notes. So it's really important that you know where those notes fall and they fall on beat one, the second partial of the triplet of beat two, the third partial of the triplet of beat three. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So there's nothing on beat four. So I'll state the triplets before we start. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. Really useful bit of independence then is if you can play that rhythm between the feet. So the three over the four. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. You could perhaps play that in conjunction with some single strokes on the snare. And so of course, as you're doing that, the right foot is always going to coincide with your right hand. So if you can play that figure, then what you should be able to do is to punctuate the three within those single strokes over the top of the four with the bass drum underneath the cymbal. couple of nice variations of those two figures uh, would be to firstly try replacing the single strokes on the snare with double strokes. So if we went back to our tom fill, uh, incidentally that orchestration down the toms isn't the only thing you could play. The, the accents could go anywhere, but I'll continue with that, the accents down the toms. 
Double strokes on the snare this time. I'll start with the singles. One, two, three, four. And the more eagle-eyed amongst you will probably have noticed that that is basically three seven-stroke rolls. And so again, we could play that off the cymbal uh, in conjunction with the bass drum. The other figure that's quite effective with that is this flam based figure where we're starting with a left hand flam so your floor tom is going to come down before the snare drum and then right left left so if you just think of this as four notes with the flam on the first note And so you'll know if you've got that figure, if your left hand is playing this. And while we're thinking of this from the perspective of Phil's, a related idea, and, and it's essentially what we're doing already, is, is playing three groups of four. And you may have exper experimented with this. So for example, a very simple version of that might be right, left, right, foot. And you would play that three times through the, the triplets. Or perhaps if the tempo allows, you could play, instead of single strokes, you could play them as double stops, as, as flams. Or you could perhaps do that as 16th note triplets. And so, uh, for example, you could play that as if you just played it right hand and foot. You could throw in the opposite side and go at twice the speed. Another idea featuring the three over four polyrhythm is what are sometimes referred to as para triplets, basically playing single paradiddles, but through a triplet rate. So where perhaps previously you've played your paradiddles and, and you're thinking of maybe 16th notes, the accent is falling 
on the quarter note. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do the same thing, but through an eighth note triplet rate, and it will take two bars to resolve. So you'll start the first bar in your right hand and the second bar in your left hand. And the three accents that you play in each bar will be the three over four polyrhythm. So I'll just play it on the snare along with the, the hi-hat. And just that one thing I'll say with this is it's when you first uh, attempt it, You've just got to sort of persevere and, and kind of muscle through because it's almost like your brain is in denial that you can possibly fit that sticking into this space. But you've just got to think of the triplet, one, two, three triplet, four triplet, and play paradiddles. And it's almost if you don't overthink it, they'll, they'll fall into place. So here we go, uh, paratriplets. One, two, three triplet, four triplet. And once again, if you've got that bass drum hi-hat independence, you could play those accents on the cymbals. So there you've got a few different ideas for orchestrating the three over four polyrhythm on the kit. And just to reiterate what I said earlier, I think the breakthrough point is when you can just visualize and or feel where the three notes fall against the four. So you've got that uh, eighth note triplet subdivision and you're accenting beat one, the second partial of the triplet of beat two, the third partial of the triplet of beat three, and then nothing within uh, beat four. And so, I'll follow this up with another video looking at how you can also use this rhythm to create implied time feels. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.